Hi everyone, I'm Lee. Uh, it's great to be here in your assembly today and I hope you guys are having a good start to your day. So, I'm here today to talk to you about being kind to others, which maybe you've heard lots of. And it's, it's not so much about being kind to others, it's about what we can do for other people. So I want you to think about what if everybody in the world was selfish? What if nobody ever shared any food? What if none of your friends shared their toys or their games? What if no one ever shared anything? I wonder what the world would be. I think it'd be very, very different to what it is now. So I'm going to reenact a story for you all about a man who had everything. He had all the clothes in his village and he had all the food in his village, while all the people in his village didn't have anything. They had no clothes and they had no food. I'm the king of all the land. Do you know what? I have people coming to me saying, please, please, we are cold and we are hungry. Give us some food. Give us some clothes. Share. Why would I want to share all that I have? Look, I have so many clothes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have 11 pieces of clothing. Why would I give them to anyone else? And look at me. I have all the chocolate in the world I can ever want. Why mm. would I give them to everybody else? What do I get from giving them my clothes and giving them my lovely chocolate and food? Mm. All the other people in the land felt really sad because they had this king and he had loads and loads of money. He had loads of food and he had loads of clothes. While all the other people were just left outside, hungry, starving and getting wet. And all they wanted was a jumper or a coat that they could use to keep themselves dry and keep their bellies all full. But the king was not a very nice king. Until one day, all the people, while the, he, the king was sleeping, decided that they were going to steal some of his clothes. Now, it's a bit naughty to steal all the clothes. So they still left him with lots and lots of clothes and they hid the other pieces around his house, around his big mansion that the king lived in. And the king woke up and he went, oh, I'm, I'm cold. And he went to put on all, on all of his clothes, but they were hidden around his mansion. So he had to go and find all of these pieces. Then he found them and he realised that the other people in his village, in his town, must have been really cold. He still had lots of clothes on and he felt cold. So he decided that he was going to give everyone else one piece of clothing. So the people, when it started to rain, wouldn't get wet and wouldn't be as cold as they were. He decided that he was going to open up his mansion to all the people so they could come in and feast with him and eat his lovely chocolate that was so tasty. And the world, the village, become a lot more of a nicer place to live. There's a book called the Bible and in the Bible it tells us that we should, one of the 10 rules that we as Christians follow, so myself, is that we should love our neighbour, which means that we should love everybody. And a part of that is to share some of the stuff that we have. So there's a fantastic Bible verse and basically all these people have gone and they've just given their life to God in the Bible and they say, well, how can we be good? How can we do the right thing by God? And John answered, so John was one of the Gospels, and he turns around and says, if, if you have two shirts, give a shirt to someone who does not have one. If you have food, give food to someone who does not have any food. Now, I wonder what your opinions were of the king with all the clothes and all the food. I bet you thought he's being a bit selfish. I bet you thought, he's not very nice, there's all the people outside in the village that are cold and hungry. And you would be nice, you would be right that he wasn't very nice. But then he learned to share 
and he shared all his clothes among the village and he shared all his food and invited everybody in and he learned to love everybody. Maybe you can have a little think about what you could do to help someone else out. In our, in our own town of Horsham, there are food banks for people that don't have any food, for families that might not have enough money to buy their own food. So right there, you could go to the shop with your family and you could decide that you want to give a few tins of food to, some, to the food bank, which is exactly like the Bible tells us. If someone has no food, give them food if you have some. Maybe you have some old clothes and some old toys that you've got building up. Maybe it's a toy you used to love, but now you don't play with it. Or maybe for some of the older ones, maybe it's a, a phone or a piece of technology that you don't longer need and you could give it to a younger brother or sister, or you could give it to the charity shop. We all have different things that we can give people that don't have anything. So maybe you can have a little think about what you could do to help out other people in Horsham or people in your school and classroom. I will see you all next time. Bye.